Welcome to the second episode of Video Game Bucket List. First, an update. This is Chrono Trigger. Now, the bucket list does say bye, however, we can change that. A massive thank you to Stefan, my friend at work, or more specifically his wife. There's a Stefan there. He brought in his wife's copy of Chrono Trigger, or Chrono Trigger, still not quite sure on the pronunciation, for me to borrow and play. So uh, I have been playing it and I'm, 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 I'm there. Just there. Frog's just buggered off. I'm irritated that, that Frog has left me, yeah, because he was my favourite character. And now he's gone. Next is something that I'm going to have great pleasure in adding to the video game bucket list. Because it is absolutely one of my favourite PC games of all time. If not my favourite, I mean it probably is my favourite. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, indicated by this. Now, I've actually tried this one a number of times before it was on the video game's bucket list and never completed it. And that is to say never completed the intention, which was to complete every scenario. And it's in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 and both the expansion packs. I can show visual aids this time. There were two add-ons here, there was a uh, time twister and Wacky Worlds, both fantastic. Wacky Worlds, incredible. So it's complete every scenario from Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 and the two add-ons. This bucket list item is perhaps a bit of a cheat. Bit of an easy one, but it's one nevertheless. And it's something I've been umming and ahhing over for probably five months. Just before I started getting excited about the new Transformers movie, I added this particular item to my Amazon wish list. Transformers Fall of Cybertron on the PS3. I've been watching the uh, price of this item. It actually peaked when Transformers came out. It was quite a lot of money. I mean, it was 22 when I added it. That's for me too expensive. You know, I need that to drop a little bit more before I buy it, although I do think that's a good price. The aim of this bucket list is to buy this product and play it. Not even complete it. Not everything has to be complete, guys. I don't want to, I don't want to tie myself down. Yes, buy Transformers Fall of Cybertron. In the update for Chrono Trigger, or Chrono Trigger, in fact I can't keep saying both pronunciations of it. From now on I'm just going to say Chrono Trigger, or Chrono Trigger. Whichever one I say, I'm just going to keep saying. I was using a 3DS XL. Oof, look at that shimmer. Real nice. That, 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 that shimmer. Yeah, this is, this is the kind of, well, one of the 3DS's that I own. The other 3DS that I own is the is it Turquoise. Can't remember what their official name for it is. Ah, that, 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 that. Ah. So I've got two 3DS's. A 3DS is not something that I need, but then Nintendo announced these. I love transparent consoles. I am a massive fan. If I could have every single console that I own be transparent, I would do so. You know, if there was a transparent option for a PS4, I would get it. It would always be that one that I would get. You know, coloured transparent, that's next level, you know. It conjures up images of back when the Nintendo 64 released all of these incredible beauties. Like, and even if you remember last episode, I showed the pink PS2. I like colours a lot, guys. So Nintendo announcing the two 2DSs was kind of the, the last thing I wanted to hear. I can't afford these, but I'm going to have to put it on the bucket list. Buy the two new transparent 2DSs and display them in an incredible way. Let's check which consoles are cheap. Now, I do want to do it on a SNES, so... Oh, wow, look at that. It's one of my... I mean, that is, that is one of my favourite games of all time. £34. Like 35, 80, 20, so it's not super cheap. 40 for 22, 30. Okay, right, next best option PS1. Don't know if that's going to be any cheaper. Oh, tenner. Seven. Don't really want a PS1, a bit too curved. I want it to have some squareness. 20 with loads of, well, four games. 10. PS1 is looking like the winner so far. Last one, N64. Because an N64 would be awesome. 35. 40, sorry. Okay, it's looking like PS1 is going to be the Iron Man console. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If you've got any ideas for future video game bucket list items, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to add some more of your suggestions. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for future episodes.